we can start by placing our holding, doing a hold, placing our hands on our client's shoulders and asking them to take a few deep breaths. Take a few deep breaths. It's okay, and then you're also going to take a few deep breaths. So we're just going to do just by gently squeezing the trapezius. And this is just a warm-up motion. And if it's more comfortable, you can move into the warrior stance, as I like to call it, and then use your body a bit more as well. So it's less pressure on your arms. It's important to be aware of your posture as well when you're doing chair massage. Not end up punched up like that. Yeah, And then we're going to move into a shearing motion. So we're going to squeeze the trapezius muscle. And we're just going to... We're shearing it, so we're just pushing it down towards the floor. all the way along the trapezius. So from the neck, down towards the shoulder. Just pressing down, you're not pinching? You're, you're, sque you're squeezing it, and then you're pulling it down towards the floor. The other hand. So your hand's not moving. How's that pressure, bitch? Is that okay? So you're not doing that, you're not moving your fingers. Just tugging it slightly. And then repeat that on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can do just a few circular motions with your thumb. Just around the top vertebra, which is quite nice. And then all the way up, the rectus spiny, making sure your client's head stays straight. And then just up into the occiput and you might want to just hold your client's head so that you can just get right up into the axis there with your thumb and this is quite nice for headaches and just be careful that you're on the top of the erector spiny and not actually on the vertebra itself so you're just right up in that in that top bit just where the last vertebra disappears under the occiput can you feel that little dip that's where you need to be. And then you can work just along the red thumb and forefinger. You might want to support your client's head, forehead, so their head doesn't roll forward. Do you want them to drop the weight into your hands? Um, yeah, I don't like doing that because then the client, A, it's quite heavy for you and B, then your client starts straining their neck. So I think as long as it's supported, so it doesn't roll forward. Sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes on the side of the neck. hold on the side of the neck. So we're just going to hold that. Those two muscles, the scalenes and the sternocleidomastoid, we're just going to hold them. So are we working on one side of the neck? Both sides. So you've got your Use hand. Use your hand
and then we're going to do a stretch. So for this, you need to have one leg in front of the other, and then just place your elbow on the top of the, your forearm on the top of the trapezius, nice and relaxed. And then you're going to ask your client to take a deep breath. And as they breathe out, you're going to stretch the neck in the opposite direction. So if it's your right arm, you're going to stretch to the left. Mm -hmm. And hold that. Not too much pressure. That's as far as it's going. <laughs> and then bring the head back up to centre. And maybe the other side. That's really nice. Ask your client. both of your forearms on your client's trapezius and then slowly roll back so you want to bend your back leg Just be careful when you get to the top of the shoulder bone. And you do that a few times. And one thing you can do, if you feel a particular point of tension in the trapezius, is squeeze a muscle where you feel the point of tension, and you can do a bit of compression with your elbow. So try and find a point of tension on your client's shoulder, or if you can't, just find an area to focus on. That's funny because I'm left handed. Now, the next thing we're going to do is a rotation. So, come to one side of your client, and what you want to do is ask your client to let their arm drop down by the side. And then you're going to support your client, you're going to put your arm underneath the client's armpit. But make sure their arm stays nice and relaxed. And make sure your weight is down and your back straight. It's gone. <laughs> a bit harder if you're taller. And then with the other arm, you're going to rest on top of their tra trapezius. And then you're going to rotate their shoulder back. Back. Whilst applying pressure onto the trapezius. <laughs> that's good. Everyone's moving their bodies really well. That's great. And again, you can adjust the position of your forearm on the trapezius so you're actually working the whole trapezius from the top of the neck, at uh, the bottom of the neck to the shoulder. So you don't necessarily need to just stay in one place. <clears throat> and then change and do that onto the other side. <laughs> careful obviously not to strangle them, we're literally just going across the top of the chest. And then you're going to use, take your hand into a fist shape, a gentle, a loose fist. Do you remember we've talked before about pretending you're holding an egg in your hand, so it's that loose fist. And you're just going to work into the rhomboids and the side of the scapula. And 
then swap sides. Make sure their back is straight. I think the problem is, yeah, keep your back straight so you're not leaning back, arching their back over the chair. What you can do is place your hip. If they're arching back too much, you just place your hip on the top. Mm. <coughs> and drop. And then you can just finish off with a nice. What's really nice with the head massage is to go around the ears and the back of the ears. Thank you. Thank you. 